Beta glucan was actually discovered in the 1940s when a doctor created a compound that enhanced the immune system, and it was called zymosin. Now, after more studying, another guy, another doctor, figured out that the main component of this stuff that was actually doing all the good stuff was beta glucan, and that kind of put that put put beta glucan on the map, so to speak. Now, besides increasing white blood cells, helping the immune system, there's actually some evidence that beta glucan can reduce allergic responses to non-harmful molecules, which is awesome for some people, because allergies can suck. Now, another thing which is interesting is beta glucan actually comes from uh, sugar molecules, and it actually slows the absorption of sugar, which is great for diabetes and obesity, which is kind of funny how it comes from sugar and, and reduces sugar, but anyways, that's that. Now, more good news about this stuff is they could uh, help with weight loss, like I mentioned, uh, reduce bad cholesterol, LDL, and help out with blood pressure. Now, there's also some bad news with beta-glucan. Some people may have an adverse reaction to it. If someone has an organ transplant, then the stuff can help the body reject the organ because it helps the immune system. Also, and there's some more bad stuff that can be influencing people with heightened immune responses, like multi multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, if I pronounce that right. Tongue twister. Now, if you don't know what multiple sclerosis is, it's a disease in which the immune system eats away at uh, the protective covering of nerves and damages nerves over time. Also, if someone has inflammatory bowel disease, then this causes beta glucan can do more harm than good. So, as you can see, you know the side effects aren't really that bad in a lot of situations, and the benefits far outweigh the risk. Now, the easiest way to get beta glucan is to a dietary supplement. Now we both know that there are thousands of supplements out there. They all say the same thing, they're the best. So which ones do you buy? Well, if you try to go out on the internet and find some objective guide on how to choose supplements and what to look for, well, they're not easy to find. There's a lot of sites that will just try to sell their stuff to you. I do this, I actually create a, a report guide that can kind of walk someone through this process and make buying supplements much, much easier and actually somewhat fun and enjoyable. It's an awesome guide, put a lot of work into it. Now here's the thing, um, I could probably sell to this guide for some money and I would, make, I would definitely sell it. But I actually decided to make it free as a gift for getting involved with a super awesome video based newsletter on the topic of, of supplements, herbs, staying healthy. It's all video based which means it's a lot funner than like reading text on a screen. That's what I think. So it's insanely awesome, so take advantage of my work and click on the link below this video to get that free report and you will thank me later, trust me. Okay, so do that right now. Click on that little link and sign up for the uh, the newsletter. Get that free report. Check it out. Do yourself a favor. Also, have an awesome, great day. Take care.